Hello and welcome to a special bonus day eight of the seven day accelerator for joy and genius. I am your host for this journey, Anahata. I'm the channel of assisting frequencies known as the Anahata codes, which are the law of attraction of energy medicine. You will now have access to the entire journey on demand at forjoyandgenius.com. Feel free to share the page and spread the word. Additionally, subscribe to my YouTube channel or join my Assisting Frequencies group on Facebook to stay in the center point of all things Anahata Codes. Let's dive into today's bonus during which I will frame the desires we have as expansive souls, the obstacles we face as particle illusion, and the innate ability we have to design the landscape, the garden of our lives. You are listening to this because you're curious about the opportunity I mentioned to dive deeper into this autotelic lifestyle, one in which you enjoy the journey for the sake of the journey rather than the destination, and you use that flow to joyfully uncover your genius. I'd love to have each and every one of you join me on a guided six-month actuator for Joy and Genius. What does the word actuator mean? Well, the word literally just sprang into my head from the superconscious mind as I formalized the journey. And it's no wonder because when I looked it up, its meaning is perfect. According to Wikipedia, an actuator is a component of a machine that is responsible for moving and controlling a mechanism or system. In simple terms, it is a mover. And that couldn't be truer when it comes to how we manifest things into being. Our subconscious minds express our beliefs and coordinate the raw components, which come forth to us in response to those beliefs. So in this way, our subconscious minds are the actuators of our physicality, And of course, our physicality responds in the same way a machine does through a directive of the subconscious mental reality. What we allow to be fed into our subconscious and what we label as truth will be what is brought forth through circumstance, places, people, and things which magnetize in response. And while we strive to be conscious as much as we can, It is the systematic cleansing, integration, editing, and upgrading of our subconscious minds, which will unlock and open us up to receiving our divine vision. And so when you join the For Joy and Genius Actuator, you will set up a default system of success and a new way of being which places you as the rightful and conscious heir to your throne. A peaceful strength will emerge, one in which you are confident in any situation and can flip the resistance to flow with your goals transcendent of circumstance. Where you are involved and focused in the mundane, and it actually begins to be fulfilling where the trivial becomes joyful action towards a definite goal and where you are rewarded along the way. We are visionaries as we sift and sort through this vast bounty. We are decipherers by design, witnessing the glory of creation and responding with consciousness and the aptitude to actuate that consciousness into creation. Our frontal cortexes are the crown jewel of humanity, but also come with a full spectrum of choice, which is polarity. We can create harmony or disharmony, love or fear, cohesion or separation. We are so free we can choose chains, even though our ability to decipher and choose is far more developed than other species We are largely still creatures of habit. We lack the ability, when viewing ourselves from our personas only, to see past what we can process on a biological level, which isn't a lot. Our biology limits us to the subconscious database, 
which was filled up before age eight and solidified our beliefs and with it our patterns. Those patterns into personality and our personality into our personal reality. While we may have desires to expand outside our comfort zone, it's called a comfort zone because our ego mind is okay with it. It keeps us safe and alive. Anything beyond is risky or dangerous through the eyes of self, and our ego will fight tooth and nail to keep things the same, even if our current circumstance isn't ideal. You can understand all of the information I have presented over the last week, but only you get to decide what is true for you and what isn't, and so it will be. You can have the absolute best intention to make lasting changes in your life, and yet we are programmed for the normal. We are even addicted to our normal, making it unlikely that any lasting change will occur in our lives simply through hearing and understanding. We often have big plans for the new year ahead, and despite our best efforts, the norm ends up taking over and we fall back into patterns. Then we shame and blame ourselves when resistance arises and we fail to see the gems available in the service that those obstacles are providing in alerting us to the discordant patterns we are allowing. The key to uncovering your vision and taking steps towards it will be the actions you take to rewrite your old habits and build new habits of success. I call it your best as default. We must repeat until our subconscious mind has formed a new belief that we believe about whatever it is we are doing. Once that occurs, it is now running on the background and will impress itself into the world as fact without our conscious willing it to be so. This is where we need to be for lasting change because again, there is a limit to the amount of time we can spend each day being conscious and our superconscious materializes what is at a rate of about nine to one. When you have pruned your subconscious, you will begin to see validation of that new program in your external reality. And you will begin to see yourself as the cause of your world rather than the effect. Yes, I said prune your subconscious, as it really is like a garden in which we plant seeds. If we aren't aware of what we are allowing to grow, it can block the very sun from shining on our faces and choke out the life force of our divine essence, which is our unique energy signature, your flower to the world. As Neville Goddard said in The Pruning Shears of Revision, published in 1954, quote, Now we will go back to the second of Genesis. It is said, And God placed man in the Garden of Eden to dress it and keep it. Now when you read the story, you think it happened thousands of years ago. I have come to tell you it is now. You are now in the Garden of Eden, and you can think you are shut out or banished. You are in it, and the garden is your mind. But you need, like every gardener, you need pruning shears. For you have slept. As you are told in that second chapter, having slept, weeds have appeared in the garden, and the weeds are revealing themselves by the conditions and the circumstances of life. For your garden is always projecting itself on the screen of space, and you can see by looking carefully at your world what you allow to grow in the garden of God. But you have a mission. You have a purpose. It is not to amass a fortune. You can do it if you want to. It's not to be famous. It is not to be some mighty power but simply to tend the garden of God. That's your purpose. You are placed in the garden to dress it and to keep it. That only the lovely things grow in the garden of God. Now every man in the world is rooted in you who look outside and see that world. Every man is rooted in me. He ends in me as I am rooted in and end in God. Because he is rooted in me, he cannot bear other than the nature the root allows. 
so he is in me and any changes desired in the outer world can be brought about only if I change the source of the thing I see growing in my world. Awesome, right guys? That is the essence of the journey, which is laid out before you as an option to take with me on a hatha. I would love to be your Sherpa on this journey. You can register now at forjoyandgenius.com. We will be using many shears to prune our glorious gardens during the six-month journey, and I will deliver them to you in five-minute daily audios, plus written transcripts for those who also like to read. They will not be the 10-minute-plus audios we've taken on this seven-day accelerator. Indeed, this has been an accelerator, a very fast delivery of the essence of the circumstances and power you have. We will simplify into focused topics with clarity and precision. And so to dive in deeper, you will use things such as the Anahata codes, timeline regression, timeline expression, flipping the resistance, belief edits, inner child work, the DILTS model of change, nature attunement, subconscious tune-ups, journaling, goal setting, the seven hermetic principles, tree therapy, and other guided pruning tools. And of course, the wise teachings of many gurus which have magnetized to me for this journey, such as Neville Goddard, Eckhart Tolle, Bruce Lipton, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Napoleon Hill, Esther Hicks, Earl Nightingale, Yogananda, Csikszentmihalyi, and more. It will take six months because you need to have it in little doses of discovery. It can't be a habit that takes up too much time, and it must overlay your current reality in order for it to be accepted and integrated. You need to have enough understanding to implement and then see results and repeat. You need to be challenged but not overwhelmed. You need to ride the wave of flow in order to be at peace with and eager for your transformation. We will reinforce centering in the now moment as much as possible. We will learn to hold absolute faith that our blessings are coming towards us. You will begin to surround yourself with the people, places, and things which support your potent purpose. And again, your potent purpose will expand over time and may begin with getting your head above water. It will take releasing anything that is in contradiction to your potent purpose, not through force, but through acceptance and choice, through flipping the resistance. We can make peace with what is and define what will be. We can then begin to celebrate the new with our ego on board and not fighting against us. All three minds working together and your energy field undistorted by the past or future, surrendering to the natural flow and connected to all things. In this space of peace and harmony, you will begin to receive sparks of passion and interest, flashes of genius, and clues as to your potent purpose on this planet. And you will have the energy to follow that inspiration, knowing that it is leading you to your highest contribution. You will continue to encounter obstacles along the way, but those obstacles will now be helpful training points for you to up your skills in order to arise to the challenge and increase your ability to deliver that potent purpose. You will have overcome polarity, not through denial, but through framing all things working for your good and fully enjoying the journey. This is what it means to have an autotelic lifestyle, and you are invited to create it with me over the next six months. Again, go to forjoyandgenius.com to register. You have the option to pay a nominal monthly subscription fee, or you can choose to pay for the entire six-month journey all at once. I want you to build an autotelic lifestyle because it is the key to your fulfillment in the now moment, and in alignment with what you came here to birth. Remember, 
My mission is to empower people to take full responsibility for their entire energy signature to create joy and meaningful contribution. I want it for you because it will bring you a deeper sense of control, unconditional love, serenity, satisfaction, but above all, it will cause you to come into direct contact with your vision, which is your potent purpose, your true essence, and it will reveal within you your passion that improves the world. Indeed, the world will be a better place because you took the journey to make it so. Your goals may start out as first pulling the weeds that are immediately distracting. Things such as stress, depression, anxiety, any health issue, relationship issue, lack issue, or the like. Then once this garden has been tended and you can receive the light and the upgrades, you will use that information to uncover your potent purpose, the flower of your soul, which is unique unto you. Because remember, in order to succeed, you must have a definite purpose backed by a burning desire for its fulfillment, a definite plan, faith and imagination that it is so, a mind closed tightly to anything that is in contradiction to your desire, and an alliance of people who are also tending their gardens. Our tribe, those of us taking the journey, will have a Facebook group for us to convene and explore and expand as you desire and your time allows. So head on over to forjoyandgenius.com and if you do join before 2020, you will receive a bonus personal session with me where I will fine tune your potent purpose and path. This will come at the end of the six month journey. You are here, you are loved, and you are a gift to the world. The path is open. Where will you go? And what will you experience? Until another now, be well.